Good evening. The action and antics of a guy named Gru are seen again in the new 3D animated film, Despicable Me 2. <laughs> in the world of 3D animation, you've almost got to be a genius, much like Gru, to pull this off. Now, do you remember those people always doodling in math class? You never thought they'd go anywhere? Well, it paid off. Because those people now rough out the whole movie in a series of sketches that gives the rest of the production a direction to head. The team then creates something called an animatic, rough movements of our characters in a 3D space. So when you have a new character, say a character named Ramsbottom, Bottom. Hilarious. The artist can adjust the character attributes smaller or larger. Now, before the animators can make the characters move in an authentic way, it takes people with brains the size of watermelons to mathematically figure out how to create those moves in a virtual world that exists only inside a computer. I know. These people are called character technical directors, and they invent things like rigging systems that animators use to move and manipulate every single body part. They are brilliant, they are quirky, and they can build a rig that can do this. Lipstick taser! Once these wizards built the rigs for each character, the animators got to work, manipulating the movements to literally bring a 3D human form to life. They move the mouth to fit the words of recorded dialogue. So when you're going on your date? What? They raise an eyebrow or squint an eye to express emotions. But most of all, they bend, squash, and stretch their virtual puppets to extremes just to get a laugh. But by far, some of the more challenging aspects of making Despicable Me 2 were the visual effects, such as the water scenes. I mean, it is harder to make fake 3D water than it is to make real water. H2O, boom. You got real water. Fake 3D water, okay. It takes millions, polygons, triangulated across the XYZ, the geometric plane multiplied by the square root of pi, divided by the cosine of x minus e. What? Then somebody came up with the great idea of creating 3D jelly and using it in a fight scene. Okay. It is so complex to do that sadly, three computers died during the making of this film. And they will always be remembered for their sacrifice. The 21 Farcon salute! Nice, huh? Uh, I counted 22. <laughs> in a film like Despicable Me 2, there are layers and layers of digital artwork in every frame of film, from backgrounds and lighting to textures like hair and metal. And all of these artists have to do this work for each frame. But I know that that time and effort is worth it. Just look at this.